people don't initially take me seriously or see me for being as mature and as intelligent as I actually am. <laughs> we can no longer categorize and pigeonhole women to belong only in this group and that group and they should behave this way. Rather again going back that they are individuals with their own human personalities and that has to be fully taken into account. How people are feeling and what they think is something that I really take to heart. I love just being a person who takes on challenges. I like surprising people with my physical strength as well as with my intellectual strength. I think I don't really conform to other people's agendas and that's something I've always had since I was a kid. Everything I do, I think of it in the context of how it's going to benefit me in the long run. It took a lot for me to even be here at ASU and I think a lot of that loyalty to my dream and that dedication to my passion is the reason that I'm here today. Women sometimes are viewed as emotional instead of passionate when they're talking about something they care about. The lines between those two things can be blurred, but to me, in reality, they coincide a lot. Men are frowned upon in the same way that women are for being emotional because men aren't allowed to be emotional without having their masculinity harmed, but women can't be too emotional without being seen as crazy or too out there or she doesn't know what she's talking about. Emotional expression for men and for women should be seen in both cases as a positive and not accrue to one more than the other as a, as a negative, as it does for women, where emotions are sometimes imagined as a liability rather than a strength. I'm in a few leadership positions myself and I'm always like weirdly worried about sounding too aggressive or too assertive or like being too in people's faces and like asking for what I want. And I think I come off sometimes as bossier. I cut things pretty short and bluntly, but it, I think it's just because I'm growing into the person I am. A woman who is smart and capable and you know, taking lead in the activities is considered bossy. So it's a very fine line, it's a tightrope that women have to walk. It's important to acknowledge the struggles that women face while remembering that women aren't powerless, passive people. We are autonomous people and we can stand up for ourselves and advocate for ourselves.